Sometime in the not so distant future, on a moon in the not so distant space, there's evil afoot. Rumors are flying around the solar galaxy like a space comet. They say there's some dastardly critters lurking in the space dust looking for trouble. Not to worry, I see our fearless space heroes now! Boss, I forget. What are we doing way out here? Huh. We've been assigned to check in on the super secret space lab and see how the progress on the super secret space robot is going. Well, why do they need to build a super secret space robot? <laughs> well, they need to build the super secret space robot so they can protect the galactic moon diamond. Oh, I've heard of the galactic moon diamond. That's the most valuable diamond in all the solar galaxy. That's right, Soliloquy. And you can see why it is so important that something so valuable stay out of the hands of the dastardly and wicked. But boss, there hasn't been anybody like that around these parts of the solar galaxy in years. I know, little buddy. But we can't take any chances. <laughs> What's this? Who are these two dastardly and wicked characters peeking over a bluff above the traveling cowboys? Why, it's... Who are you calling dastardly and wicked looking? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to set up the plot. Yeah, just say our names and get on with it! Uh, um, Chesterfield, Wordsworth, and Anchor Coldstone. Are you done now? Ha <laughs> see you there? Troubadour McNeely in Soliloquy, Ontario. Those dimwits will lead us straight to the top secret space lab. Once we're there, we can reprogram their precious space robot to steal the galactic moon diamond that it's been built to protect. <laughs> it's gonna be tough, but I think we can pull this caper off. <laughs> of course you'll pull it off. You're Chesterfield Verstberg, the most wicked and dastardly villain in all of the solar galaxy. <laughs> and rightly handsome, if I do say so myself. Quiet, Inca. I'm trying to devise a dastardly plot here. Oh, let's get going. We don't want to lose them. Meanwhile, back at the top secret space lab, Doc Clockwood and Clementine Honeywater are working on the super secret space robot. Where's the green cord? I don't see the green cord. We need the green cord. Let's hear green. I dropped some of my dinner there earlier, so I'm just making sure. I... Clementine, hand me that space wrench. Excellent. Just turn this here a little bit. Thank you, Clementine. Now for the last step. I need you to hand me that vial of the space robot life plasma. What is the life plasma exactly, Doc? Well, it's made up of Deimos moon dust. Now, Deimos being one of the two moons of Mars, Phobos being the other. Well, of course. Every space scientist learns that in Space Geography 101. Thank you, Clementine. I was just seeing if you were paying attention. <laughs> and now for the final step. Just one last drop. And the robot is finished. <laughs> Clementine, would you like the honor of flipping the switch? <laughs> oh! Starting up, analyzing data, confirming location, assessing entities in immediate proximity. They appear to be human. They appear to be friendly. Booting friendly welcome sequence. Easy, easy. Hello, I'm Space Robot. Pleased to meet your acquaintance. 
Overjoyed, Doc and Clementine get to work teaching the robot. Teaching a robot to do lots of things. He doesn't do things very well. Everyone's sad. He messes up. Then he gets better. Everyone's happy. Mr. Robot, you gotta learn. Oh yeah, Mr. Robot, you gotta learn to stay alive. Oh, Mr. Robot, you gotta learn to survive. Oh yeah, Mr. Robot, you gotta learn. I see you've got the super secret space robot nearly completed. <laughs> this is excellent news. Well, it's been a challenge, Troubadour, but in fact, to celebrate our achievement, I think we should go out to the space bar and celebrate. Well, gee, that sounds great. I could sure go for a space sarsaparilla. Space robot, you stay here and watch the lab while we go get our space rocks off. Space Robot sure has come a long way from when Doc and Clementine flipped his switch. It looks like he'll be the perfect guard for the Galactic Moon Diamond. But what's this? What's that lurking in the shadows outside the top secret space lab? Well, it's me, Chesterfield Wurzler, and my faithful cohort, Inca Coldstone. <laughs> intruder, intruder, must eliminate intruder. Yeah, this isn't good! Run! Run! You know how to shut this thing off! Woo! This power source must be enough to shut up there in this lab! Inka, <laughs> 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 help me! <laughs> Put him right here. Oh, there's gotta be a way to reprogram this thing. Maybe this will do it, boss. Maybe we need to turn its power source back on. Yeah! <sighs> Starting up. Analyzing data. Confirming location. Assessing entities in immediate proximity. They appear to be human. They appear to be evil. Booting evil welcome sequence. <laughs> I am Space Robot. Get out of my way. I have a galactic moon diamond to steal. But now, but now, Chesterfield, what do we do now? Well, we follow the robot, of course. He'll lead us straight to the Galactic Moon Diamond. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, no. It looks like we're in some hot space water. Where is our faithful hero now when we need him? Where are Doc and Clementine? This doesn't look good. This doesn't look good at all. Wait. Look, here they come now. Surely they'll be able to put a stop to this. Got to do, got to do with it. What's the got to do, got to do with it? What's the got to do, so got to do with it? Space foul! <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what, Soliloquy? <laughs> For a little guy, you're a fun guy. <laughs> Is you, you just call me a mushroom? No, 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 no. No, no, not a fun guy. A fun 
guy. <laughs> uh -huh. You're a fun Guys? guy. Guys, get a fun guy. Get a <laughs> you, know, you know, Doc, for a for a duck, you're not so bad yourself. A duck? Quack quack. Hello. Hey, look around. Wow, Clementine, I, I didn't know you could dance like that. You, you're so, you're so bendy. <laughs> well, Troubadour, there's lots you don't know about me. Why, why I can even. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, you see, now? it's like I was telling you. So, little, uh, we, we are just tiny specks on the moon. And the moon is just like tiny speck in the solar system. And, well, the solar system is just like a tiny little speck in the galaxy. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> totally, man. You just blew my mind. I know, right? Ah. Wow. Well, Clementine. I never noticed how pretty your eyes are. Hey! You're so sweet. Hey! I, I never realized how handsome you are. Stop talking, all of you! Look around! The lab is trash! Hey! The robot is gone! Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Where's my space robot? And why is there a giant space robot sized hole in my wall? Smell that? Yeah. Sorry about that, boss. I know that smell. I've been on that smell for years. It's only one thing that smells like that. That thing's a fella. And that fella has a name. And that fella's name it's Chesterfield Wordsworth! Damn! Chesterfield Wordsworth? Why, he's the baddest criminal this side of the Astro Belt! You don't think he... Rigged the local space bingo tournament? Oh, that wicked, dastardly bastard! Think of all those poor seniors got robbed of tens of space dollars! Well, he might have done that, but what I was going to say was reprogram the space robot to steal the Galactic Moon Diamond! Oh dear, you're right! That's much worse! Well, what are we gonna do, boss? There's no telling what'll happen if Worthworth gets his hands on that space diamond. That is not going to happen. I've sworn to protect the Galactic Moon Diamond, and that is exactly what I intend to do. Now I have a plan. Soliloquy and I will go after Chesterfield and the robot. Meanwhile, you two stay here. Think about the Out in the space desert. Look here! The robot's come this way. Come on, Inca. Can't we just sit down and rest? My feet are killing me. We'll rest when we're floating around the solar galaxy on a new space yacht, Inca. Now come on, we've got to keep going. Those fools down at the space lab are sure to figure out what we've done by now. And if I know Troubadour McNeely, he's already left and is hot on our trail. And not to mention the fact that we have to get to the galactic moon diamond before that robot does. Now let's go. Ugh, I don't think I'm cut out for this space villain stuff. Why couldn't I have met a good man, like a banker or a doctor? Instead, I am stuck on the hottest, dirtiest, stuffiest moon in the solar galaxy with you. Ugh. Quit your nagging, Inca. We've got to keep moving. Now let's go! That dastardly duo They are so cruel they will do anything to get control. They are so cunning. Their complete lack of morals is stunning. Only two truly talented actors could Play these difficult roles. Look here, Soliloquy. There are two sets of tracks beside the space robot. That means Wordsworth isn't traveling alone. They look pretty fresh, too. I think we're gaining on them. 
Let's climb to the top of this ridge. Maybe we can see what's going on. Oh, boss, quick question. Don't you No think time for questions, soliloquy. We've got to keep moving. Come on, let's go. Well, boss, I was just thinking. If we just headed back to the super secret space lab and asked Doc where the robot might have gone, maybe he'll tell us that. Okay, now hand me that space drill. Thank there you. There you are, Doctor. Now you hand me that space robot life plasma. Here you are, Doctor. All right, this one little drop. Starting up. Analyzing data, confirming location, assessing entities in immediate proximity. They appear to be human. They appear to be friendly. Booting welcome sequence. Hello, I'm Space Robot. Pleased to meet your acquaintance. Clementine, what have you done? You grabbed the wrong vial. This is robot space life plasma from Phobos, not Demos. I'm so sorry, Doctor. What's wrong? What have I done? Don't you know anything? Space robot men are from Demos, and space robot women are from Phobos. <laughs> We've made a space robot girl. She'll never be able to defeat the space robot. I'm sorry. Oh, well, Clementine, we'll have to do with what we got. We've got to get out of here. Grab your stuff. We've got to go. Move! Yes. Yes. This is working out perfectly. That dumb space robot has led us straight to the galactic moon diamond. <laughs> Do something to distract the space robot while I get the diamond. Me? Distract him? What do you want me to do? Why is it my problem? What's I got to do? Got to do with it? Intruder. Intruder. Must eliminate intruder. Not so fast, space robot. <laughs> Must eliminate intruder. Oh no! Last, the galactic moon diamond is mine! <laughs> How can this be? Chesterfield Wordsworth has the galactic moon diamond in his own evil hands! Of course I have the galactic moon diamond, you fool! And to be honest, I'm a little hurt that you doubted me. I mean, you said so yourself. I'm the most dastardly and wicked-looking villain, remember? Well, I, I just didn't expect this outcome. I, I mean, usually these things turn out a... Uh... Wait! What's this? Why, it's Doc Clockwood and Clementine Honeywater. And not a moment too soon! <laughs> For the love of God, someone stop him! Ah, here she is. Ah. Are you okay? Well, I don't know. I mean, I was shot. 
shot in the arm. Well, you're in luck, little lady. I'm a doctor. I can get you fixed up and back on your feet in no time. A doctor, you say? I, my whole life, I always dreamed I'd meet a doctor. I just didn't know when I did that he'd be so attractive. Well, little lady, you're going to be just fine. Let's get you up on your feet and back to the space lab. The lab? I don't know that I can make it that far. It is so, so far away, and I am so, so tired. What are you talking about? It's right there across the street. Across the street? But we tracked these guys halfway around the space moon. Yeah, we haven't been able to get the navigation program to function on the space robots very well. We still gotta do some tweaks on it. Well, I did wonder how you got here so fast. I mean, after all, you had to build a super secret space robot from scratch. And you got here right after we did. Well, that sure explains a lot. Well, I tried to tell you, boss, if we just would've went over to the super secret space lab, we could've asked Doc and Clementine where the Galactic Moon Diamond was, and then we wouldn't have to meander over it here, and then I wouldn't have had to kick you in the shins and whatnot, and then we wouldn't have had to go through this whole mess. We would have gotten, gotten here way before the other. I'm certainly glad that's all over with. The Galactic Moon Diamond is safe. Chesterfield Wordsworth has been captured. And I found myself a sweet little pretty lady to keep me company. <laughs> I think to celebrate our achievement, we should go to the space bar and celebrate! <laughs> well, that sounds great. I could sure go for a space sarsaparilla. <laughs> you may. Well, it looks like things worked out pretty well. All is safe in the solar galaxy and there's one man we can thank. One man who keeps the starways safe from the dastardly and wicked looking. And that man is Troubadour McNeely. Well, and Soliloquy Ontario. And Doc Clockwood. And let us not forget the lovely Clementine Honeywater. And the luscious Inca Coldstone. <laughs> oh, and those two robots. Without all of these brave souls, Chesterfield Wordsworth would still be on the loose. And you know what? I'd like to think I had a little to do with it too. Okay, maybe not. The end! Get in your spaceship and ride To that place where Space cop. <laughs> space cop. Right. Yeah, last night was. Uh, 